Well, today we are, it's our pleasure and our honor to sit here with Elijah Madison and visit with him. Uh, Elijah, going into this uh, this year, what's kind of your focus? Oh, well, this year I'd say consistency, you know, being good at all the right times, pretty much what I'm trying to do myself. Well, that's a, that's a good focus. Uh and you know a little bit about Elijah. You know, he came out of Oak Park High School in in, uh, in Missouri, right there in Kansas City, and, and of course he had a tremendous high school career, both in football and and wrestling. And of course, what a year he had for us last year. He went twenty three and one. His only loss was to the guy that was ranked second in in Division One at the time, and probably we could attribute that loss to a sprained ankle right at the in the overtime. So still take down. <laughs> But uh, so coming into the year, that's that's kind of your focus, and that's a little bit on your on your background, of course. And uh, now, how's classes going? How how are you doing with your classes? Doing good in classes, actually. A little better than I thought I would be. Uh, haven't missed any so far. Getting good, getting all the stuff done. Now, Elijah, probably not missing any has a direct relationship on how you're doing in the class. It's true. <laughs> Go to class and you will pass. <laughs> That's a great philosophy, <laughs> but I, you know we really can see that you're working at it this year. You're really you're really trying to do well, and we appreciate that. You know that you're just working to do well academically and in and in the practice room. This guy's quite an athlete. I mean, if you watch him, you know, do some things. He's got uh, he's got some speed. On our on our retreat, we were watching you run with that football. Sure. And you and you were a running back. Ah, uh, fullback. Fullback. And then they moved you to the to the offensive line and D line. They, they had D line and uh, yeah, so you could you had some you had some quicks. Now, tell us a little bit about Oak Park. You know, you you're at Oak Park High School. Of course, geez, what a team you guys had there over the years. And tell us a little bit about that. Oh well, I came there after my freshman season, wrestled in Kansas, and then my dad got transferred to work out of Kansas City, so I moved up there to go to Oak Park and. I just known all those guys as long as I've been wrestling, you know, since third grade, and I figured feel like it was a good fit for me. Well, and you've led two of them here, mm -hmm. Joe Joe, Joe Joe, and and Cody Tyler and Joe Joe Green, and uh, they followed you up here. You're kind of the leader of that pack, of the old Park Pack, right? Uh, so I, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you don't want to lead those. <laughs> hey, it's not a bad. They might, are they too heavy a load? <laughs> no, they're not so bad. <laughs> well, you know, you're you're going into the year in uh, this year, and uh, you know, we as I say, we're just on a retreat, uh, and on the retreat, you I think had a really unique symbol brand. Tell us a little bit about that. Oh well, it's a double-edged axe, which kind of comes from Oak Park High School. Um, just, I don't know, you want to keep in coming in every day, sharpening that axe. And then when at the end of the year, when it needs to be sharp, it's sharp. That was a good one. I appreciated that when you when you gave that. And it, was, it was a good one, I think, for you. You know, just that sharpening every day. And when you got split some wood at the end of the year. Exactly. That's <laughs> right. Got to clear some forests. <laughs> <laughs> You're ready to do that. Uh, well, you know... Um, what can you see yourself down? Now, we're going to do our alumni shadow here. Mm -hmm. And you, you know, last year you kind of did a thing with the with the railroad. I think it was Union, was it Union Pacific last yeah, it year. Was Union Pacific. And uh, is that something you're kind of interested in? Maybe getting in, in, involved in that somehow? And tell us a little bit about that. What do oh, you see yeah, yourself well, doing maybe in five, ten years? My dad, he's been on the yard, the yard side of it, like his whole life. I think this is his 36th year on the, on the, on the, transportation side of it. I want to go on the corporate side, you know, work in the office. And what I was going to shadow is a, it's a dispatcher. He tells the guys where they need to go and what time they need to be there, how much they can work and all that stuff. Yeah. So you kind of been, you know, just, you know a little bit about the railroad, probably just from your yeah. from your dad. And of course, last year you shadowed somebody. That was kind of a yard situation. Yeah, that too. was the lowest man you can get, switchman. Yeah. And now I'm gonna go up and see the dispatcher, so it's kind of up the ladder. Yeah, just working my way up. And, and the person that's gonna show you around is? Uh, it's actually Tim Chavez's dad. Yeah, he's been doing it for I think he said twenty some years now. Yeah, He'd be a good guy to learn from. That's a good one to you know get connected with one of our guys, 
and I think he'll show you really what kind of how he got to that position and so forth. So, well, you know, here we're we're just just about ready to start official practice, but we've been practicing, and we'll be coming up with that cyclone. Well, the the Dactronics and the Cyclone Open. Are you excited about the season? I have no choice but to be. That's why we're here. <laughs> You're here to wrestle, right? So. Right. <laughs> Well, you've looked, you've looked really good in the preseason here. I plan on doing the same thing. Yeah. So, uh, Consistency. You know, you, this is your second your second year with us now, so what do you think of this new incoming bunch? You know, the, the two of those are from Oak Park. Right. I think, well, it's, it's all about making a transition. You know, how much you put in is how much you'll get out of it. I think, you know, these guys learn the work ethic and stuff. A lot of them already have it. They make the transition good when it comes to competition. I think we'll be fine. Strong class. Yeah. What about our overall team? Uh, we're we're always strong there. I think as far as as long as I've known you and know, they've been a strong team. I think you might not remember, but I came to one of your camp when Abilene. Whenever I was itty bitty, you probably don't remember, but I was there. Ever ever since then, I've been following you guys. And it's been a tough team. You know, I guess I didn't realize that, Elijah. No. I didn't. I didn't realize that. I remember you. You were still out doing technique. Yeah. Well, golly, you know that goes back. Of course, the, you know we've had a number from from Abilene, and of course now we got three from Oak Park. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Multiplying. How's that? How's Oak Park look this year? Do you know how they're? Oh, I think their lightweights will be real tough, but the heavyweights they got to get heavyweight if you know he's just young. He's got to learn. Everyone's got to go through that stage. I think he's, he'll make the transition. Well, only we, time will tell. Elijah, it's been good talking to you. We want to wish you a great season. And, of course, he's got the nickname Mad Dog. And we want to tell everybody <laughs> it's D O double G. <laughs> We're going to emphasize that. Double G. <laughs> Elijah, we appreciate you. And, uh, you know, thanks for. For all you contribute, and I honestly, I, I you really, I think if uh, you can make a huge impact on our team, and and really in the next few years, and okay? I think you're, like you said, I think we've got some, you got some other guys around you too, and uh, oh, yeah. so uh, we wish you a great season. I appreciate it.